What's up, people? Well, first off, making videos for me is a complicated endeavor. This is my third attempt at making this one, and uh, it, <laughs> it seems like I have a lot of time on my hands, but I don't. Um, busy, busy with the kids and work and life, but I feel like I have to get the, these things out. And um, today I wanted to talk about numbers because and I should make this try to get this going, going as quick as possible because it's important to me. I realize the numbers, as we see them, 333, 444, 1111, whatever they may be, there are, there's a lot of speculation over what those numbers mean, and there are a lot of different websites that will tell you they have completely different meanings. And um, trying to attain a meaning behind seeing a number over and over is kind of like trying to get an accurate horoscope. Um, one exists, but we modern humans don't have the capability to really process the information. Maybe the ancients did, maybe they didn't. But astrology had a basis in truth, and numerology as well. As humans, we always find what we're looking for. It doesn't matter what it is. If you look long enough, you will find it. And this is what I've found in, in the, all the madness. I find the the wonder of, of subjects that I've already thought I've conquered to be so intriguing to me that I just take them on over and over again but without any consistent outcome that is reliable because people change, times change. The numbers that I'm talking about are mostly triple digits, you'll see them on clocks and whatnot, but I've been seeing them a lot, okay? 333 was a particular number that's come in lately. It used to be 1111, and for a while it was 4044, and it's been 44 and 444 for quite a while here too. It's threes and fours, and also multiples like twos and eights, 222, 888, or 88. And uh, I know that the peripheral vision picks up just about everything that you can, things that you would never imagine. And if you see that number, let's say you're driving down the street and you see a license plate that's 333. The, and you're in that mindset to look for those things. Your mind already knows it exists, even if it's ten cars in front of you and you can barely make it out. Your eyes know everything. Your eyes take in everything. So, I'm just saying that to say that uh, it's not just by chance that you look at some of these things. However, that doesn't discount the possibility that it could be telling you something. So, the other day, my mom came over and we were talking about this very thing. And I was showing her how to use her computer. And I subscribed her to my channel because uh, I guess she'd become unsubscribed somehow. When I went to my, cha to my channel to look at it, I had 333 subscribers. And I was just like laughing at it. This morning I woke up, I looked at it, and I had 333 subscribers still. And I had 30,999 views. So it was nine 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 three three. So it was three 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 zero oh, nine 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 or three 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 zero oh, nine nine. I mean, I just see these everywhere, and some people take it a little too far, and they don't, you know, they they believe what they're told, and they think this means the angels are watching me or whatever. But I don't know what it means. I don't research the numbers ahead of time because I don't want to have a predisposed idea about what it might mean. <coughs> I've been asking the universe for help lately because I need it and <coughs> excuse me I've had some interesting things happen to me lately and um, I just want to read you this thing because I looked it up 333 because I, I, I'm, I'm very curious about these things um, it's 33 is the one I've been seeing the most so this is just off of some I don't even know what it is, but it's a website. It's called Joanne Sacred Scribes, which is hilarious because I'm just talking with someone yesterday about his video about scribes. And different, it, it was very interesting that all these, you know, things come into play. So here's what it says about it. Angel number 33. Number 33 is made up of the vibrations of the number 3, within the number 3 appearing twice, amplifying and magnifying its influences. Number three relates to the attributes of expansion and the principles of increase, spontaneity, broad-minded thinking, encouragement, assistance, talent and skills, self-expression and communication, manifesting and manifestation. 
Number three also resonates with the energies of the Ascended Masters and indicates that the Ascended Masters are around you, as assisting when, ne when asked, which was the interesting part because I've been asking for help. And I don't know about the Ascended Masters thing. I don't really know much about it, but it's just an interesting, um, an interesting irony, I guess. It's just, okay, it says they are helping you to find peace, clarity, and love within. The Ascended Masters help you to focus on the divine spark within yourself and others and assist with manifesting your desires. Number 33 is a master number, master teacher, and resonates with the energies of compassion, blessings, inspiration, honesty, discipline, bravery, and courage. Number 3 tells us that all things are possible. 33 is also the number that symbolizes guidance. The master number 33 is connected to the Ascended Masters and the repeating, the repeating angel number 33 is a message that many Ascended Masters surround you and are offering their assistance. All you need to do is ask. The Ascended Masters are waiting to answer your prayers. It's a number from your angels that any positive changes or projects you're considering right now may well be worth your while, and you will be assisted in the undertaking. And then it goes on to talk about uh, living with knowledge and enjoying spiritual awareness and, and manifestation and you know, it's really funny because it's almost like a horoscope always relates to your situation with these numbers. It seems like when I was seeing 44, it's claimed that, you know, angels are helping you or whatever, something like that. And since I'm not a religious person, I just find it to mean, you know, all of those are archetypes in my mind. So these ascended masters or these archetypes, many people may picture ascended masters as these old wise spirit men or something. I don't know what each person you know, sees them as. To me, they're just energy forces, if they exist, which have been, you know, through many cycles, many wheels, many, many movements through the universe to get to where they're at, and perhaps they really are there within just a dimension right outside of our vision that we can't understand, and just outside of our awareness. And I don't know, but Seeing the number 333 over and over after I'd been asking for help was very interesting. And um, it doesn't change my belief system in any way because I've, this is, these are along the belief lines of everything that I've always thought and I've always talked about in my videos, which is you manifest your own desires. You're ultimately your own person. So when I picture these ascended masters or people helping me or angels for guidance, I don't picture them as separate entities. I see them as another angle, another facet of the jewel that is myself, me, the only one me, the only one Joshua that looks and acts and is like me. And people may come close to each individual, but we're amazing creatures. When I see these numbers, I use them as a guidance, a way for me to say that my subconscious is telling me something. I don't know if any of you have ever used a pendulum or a Ouija board, but it's my belief that these work in the exact same way. There's nothing moving your hand on a Ouija board. It's the collective consciousness, your subconscious, reading into the energy fields of the world around you. I use a pendulum sometimes. You get it swinging back and forth, you ask a question and wait for it to either go right or left, there's a few different ways that people do it. Or you can have letters on a board where you let it swing back and forth and it points to the letter. You're doing it. You act, and, and some people act, feel like as if they're being guided by a higher, higher power. They are, but that higher power is within themselves. So when you see these repeating numbers, all you're doing is acting upon your subconscious, which is telling you to be aware of something. Just the same way as if you're sick, your body will tell you. Or, if your energy field is sick, if you are acting poorly and, you're, and you aren't doing the things you should be doing and living the way you should be living, you'll get ill, ailments. There's different kinds of illnesses. Some are caused by accidents, and some are just caused by a poorly lived life. Not in the sense of health, but in the sense of mental being, well-being. So... Um, the one I looked at about 333, uh, 33 was also kind of interesting because there was another one in here, uh, 333, and this is the one I, uh, I'll just read this quickly. 
Uh, number 333 resonates with the vibrations and energies of number 3, appearing three times, tripling its influences. Number 3 relates to encouragement, assistance, communication, freedom, adventure, exuberance, blah blah blah, goes on and on, spontaneity, kindness, broad mind, I mean, there's just too much shit. And this is where it gets annoying, is because it's just like when a horoscope says, you could be this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, that, that can go for anybody. I mean, read somebody else's horoscope and see if it re relates to you. Um, you know, they usually have something in there that you can relate to. So, of course, when you list a thousand things, you know, it's going <laughs> to, something's going to come up. <coughs> Number three is the essence of the Trinity. Mind, body, spirit, and is the threefold nature of divinity. The number three symbolizes the principle of growth and signifies that there is a synthesis present, that imagination and outpouring of energy is in action. Number three represents the principle of increase, expansion, growth, and abundance on the physical, emotional, mental, financial, and spiritual levels. Oh, please, God, to the financial levels, I need it. <laughs> number three also resonates with the ascended masters, great spiritual teachers who once walked upon the earth, as well as various religion religions' deities. Number three equals the Jesus connection. Interesting. I hadn't read this yet. When angel number three, 333 appears consistently, it implies that the ascended masters are near you. They have responded to your prayers and wish to help assist you in your endeavors and with serving your divine life purpose and soul mission. The message of angel number 33, 333 is to have faith in humanity. And I do. I really do. I, most of the time. And the universal energies. The angels and ascended masters are working with you on all levels. They love, guide, and protect you, always. When the angel number 333 repeats in your life, you are asked to call upon the angels and masters for love, help, and companionship. They will give you guidance along your path. And if feeling perplexed or confused as to your life purpose, call upon the angels and ascended masters to assist. They are waiting for your call. <laughs> Just dial 1-800-ASCENDED-MASTERS. <laughs> Use your natural communicative and light working skills to aid, assist, and serve others in a positive and uplifting way. Number 333 relates to the number 9. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, and angel number 9. So interesting that I would see the triple 9 and the 333. So, <clears throat> you know, take what you will from it. Each person there, you know, has... How much they buy into a particular idea is their own. I would call myself a broad-minded skeptic. I'm skeptical of everything. I'm skeptical of the reality of existence. I'm skeptical that we're even really here. I'm skeptical, I mean, not in the sense that we, of course we're here in one way or another, but I mean, um, I've, I practiced lucid dreaming and I know that lucid dream can be more real than the world here. And you wake up feeling like you're in a dream. We have many levels of existence. And somewhere on one of these levels is a plane that relates to mathematics, numbers, numerology of the universe. It's obvious because it exists. There's no way around it. it, it it's the very foundation of the fabric of the cosmos. It can be perhaps not explained in uh, our mathematical context, but somewhere, somehow, most of these things can be explained. If you look into, you know, pi and the golden mean, the phi ratio. Um, there are many perplexing, interesting, repeating patterns in nature. And so when you see a, a digits, triple digits, whether it be on a clock or somewhere else, you know, ask yourself why. Now, obviously, if you get home at 3.30 every day from work and you look and you see 3.33, well, that's not very, you know, that could, <laughs> there are other reasons why sometimes we see things more often than others. But those who have seen the numbers and who ask for guidance, whatever form it may come from, because I believe asking for guidance just means asking yourself. When I talk about a higher power, it's all right here in me and you. We all have it. Um, it's just a matter of believing it. And When you have faith, and this is where a lot of people miscommunicate, having faith doesn't mean you have to have faith that there's a God in the sky. Having faith means you have faith that if you put forth the effort, you will get the outcome you desire. And... That's faith in yourself and faith in the universe. Nothing wrong with that. That's what makes us, that's what keeps us going, the drive. And people deny they have faith, but you have faith in something or you wouldn't exist. You wouldn't keep wanting to exist. Maybe you just have faith in living and enjoying life and not wanting to die. But anyway, the, 
whatever levels there are and whatever planes of existence somewhere there's a mathematical explanation for this not if you see the numbers on a clock then you go to your computer and you see I, I mean it, it was wild I went to a video the other day and it had I think it was like uh, 27,245 view or thumbs up and then it had 27,245 thumbs down. It was exactly equal and they were both around 25,000. I was just shocked. Something as simple as that, you know, an equal thumbs up, thumbs down to me is perhaps a sign that the video is important or something to watch. Something, something, there's something going on. Look around, see what's happening. Think about it for a minute. Um, but not just that. I, what I do is, you know, after seeing 33, 44, I, I went to like two or three different of my videos to respond to comments and they had 33 views and three thumbs up or <laughs> or uh, 33 comments and this goes on and on and on so I always look at these same types of numbers whenever I look at, I always look at the clock and I always look at the computer numbers and stuff so but sometimes it's obviously something different not just a couple numbers here and there so if people are interested in numerology don't get sucked into all the, uh, the flowy uh, spirity people trying to tell you that they understand it because they don't. Uh, I have not yet met anyone or found any website that can really, or book or anything that can really explain the truth behind the numbers. Look at it like dreams. People claim to be dream translators, but the most the 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 the, the, the most spiritual high end whatever the. The people who are the, the, the farthest into it, into dream interpretation, will all tell you that ultimately you can only interpret your own dream. No one can tell you what it means. You can tell someone what's going on in your life and they can help you to translate it, just like helping you figure out a problem or helping you with a, a work project that you're doing, but uh, ultimately it's up to you to decipher the meaning behind the thoughts you have, the emotions you have, and like I've said before, when you have an anger an emotion, you ask yourself, why am I angry? What have I done to make myself angry? And why have I made myself sad? You know, a person will die in your family and you'll get sad. And you'll say, of course, I'm sad because they died. But why are you really sad? Do you believe in a you know higher being? Do you believe in God or do you believe in some sort of a afterlife? Well, yeah. And then you'll say, well, then why are you sad? And then ultimately they have to come to terms with the fact they're sad for themselves, for selfish reasons. And people hate to hear that, but the truth is, when you cry for someone else that died, you're crying mostly for yourself and your family for not being able to have those people around. And that's okay. My comparison there is that only you know why you have the emotions that you have. And only you know why you think the way you think. And so no one else can decipher your dreams. No one else can decipher the meaning behind your horoscope, nor the meaning behind the numbers that you see. However you can utilize some good sources to find out say what like I did and, and find out what the average collective idea is on what 333 means yeah um, I mean I was uh, I mean there's a 33rd degree Mason you know my father my grandfather was a Mason but he was 32nd degree he never quite made it there but <coughs> the number 33 to me I understand this now you know this whole the explanation behind the things that we see and being able to just kind of enjoy it and go along for the ride. It's like a carnival. This whole world's a carnival and um, we're all the we're all the spectators and we're also all the guys people on the rides and we're the carnies and we make up this collective wild ride and um, I just say don't look too deep into it, but look as deep as you can. What I mean is, people talk about the rabbit hole, dive into the rabbit hole head first. But <clears throat> never stop. Because eventually, if you keep going down far enough, you'll come out the other side. And you can let it all go. Don't grab anything on the way. Don't try to hang on to any roots. Don't try to stop yourself from falling because eventually you'll fall back out. And you will realize that everything is an illusion, but it still exists. The Maya, you know, the word Maya, as in the Mayans, it means illusion. 
and it's the illusory state that we live in. But if you look too deep into that, you start saying, nothing exists, mostly empty space. Oh my gosh, atoms are just vibrating energy. Yeah, so what? They're vibrating energy that creates what we call matter. So therefore, matter does exist, because that's what we've given it the name for. Some one teacher told me once that there is no try, either do or don't. The old Yoda. And I said, you know, I don't agree. Because try is a word in the human language we've used to describe the moving effort towards doing. People get way too hung up on the details, is my point. They, they're always trying to pick at the English language and say, well, actually, it technically means this. And just like every thing that happens to a person, it, it really means this, but it means what you want it to mean. Don't hold on to anything. I, I feel like a pinball, but a pinball gets pushed around in society and, and in the world, but it's steel. It's fucking steel. You can throw that pinball all the way across the room and it won't even make a dent. So be the pinball, but be a good high quality steel. <laughs> Try to find yourself going from thing to thing with an utter enjoyment of it and not feeling trapped. Because when you resist and you push back, all you're doing is causing more heartache for yourself because you can rebel against it all. <clears throat> And then you come home and you're still with yourself. And I know I digress from numbers on this, but it all ties into the same system. My point of it was that I saw number 333 everywhere and I'm seeing it everywhere. <coughs> Whatever I take away from it, that's completely my thing. The next person, I just looked over at the suitcase. <laughs> Look at this shit. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is how far you can take it as a human. Twenty-two eleven, right? <laughs> I'm two, twenty-two plus eleven is thirty-three. I mean, I know that sounds silly to some people, and it's silly to me too. But um, the point is that it just keeps happening over and over. So, I take what I want from it without believing that there's any particular person or thing or entity trying to tell me something. It's the whole dualism, non-dualism, all of that pff, garbage. That's too think too much thinking, you know. As much as I talk on my videos, the the actual thinking that I really do on a day-to-day -day basis, I never ask myself questions during the day. I just embrace everything. I look around at the trees and just, God, it's beautiful. I was looking at the trees the other day and I saw their branches as reaching up, like, hello, like they're saying hi. And they seem stationary, but if you sped up everything in time lapse, the trees are bursting, bursting forth, flowers bursting forth. It's crazy out there. Way beyond anything we are. We're just like, we're a little spill in the puddle, you know, a little puddle that needs to dry up. The rest of it's just always ongoing. And our little world as humans can really be completely separated from nature if we wanted to. We're always part of nature, but we seem to have separated most of it from nature. But nature's trying to talk to us, and it speaks to us in interesting ways speaks to us through numbers, and I'm listening. And it also speaks to us through recurring bad things. Those people that say, why me? This always happens to me. I used to be one of those people. I was like, why does this keep happening? Often it's my own doing. You know, I keep dropping stuff or spilling stuff and bump something else. It's because I'm too klutzy, you know? I'm going too fast. I learned to take a breath. Do what I need to do. Slowly grab the things, set them, put them away. You know, it's it's always our own doing that causes these problems. So by analyzing the problems, we can conquer them. And 
if a thing happens to you over and over and over and over, and you see a number over and over, you can take it to mean that there's something, somebody trying, something trying to tell you something. Just like if something bad happens to you over and over and over, you can look at it as a sign that you need to deal with that issue. I have a lot of issues I need to deal with in my life, but not nearly as many as some people, or not nearly as many as I used to. So as usual, I'm going to part with at least one one toke, but I wanted to um, I wanted to show you guys this this pipe. My friend my friend Kevin started blowing glass pipes, and uh, he hasn't been doing it very long. I mean, he's new to it, you know, and he does it for fun and he doesn't do it for profit. And I love his pipes because I I feel the love in the pipe. You know, I could go and buy some big old heady piece. I don't really care much about it, but. Um, this one has, so I can get the light on it a little bit here. It's really nice. I can tell he put a lot of love into it. I love the colors, and 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 it's not a bubbler. It's just a pipe. But I put these tassels on here because they came from one of my first pipes ever. But maybe you can get some of the um, looks. I know this is completely unrelated to the video, but Kevin, you do awesome work. And then on the top, check that out. Is that sweet? That guy's pretty cool. He's like my, my my best buddy, dude. I've known him forever. So 333. Third time's a charm. I hope everybody out there realizes that you can embrace the truth without having to be obsessed about it. But there, there's a big argument out there about whether or not truth can really be, whether there's one truth or individual truth, I don't care about all that anymore. I don't care about any of it. All that matters to me is utilizing what I've learned so far. I've taken about all society has to offer in modern times to utilize, and the rest of it I'm going to have to learn as I go along. And with age doesn't necessarily come wisdom, but just like Socrates said, if your parents can't teach you, then you need to teach your parents. But um, we do the best we can. So I'm sure I'll walk in the house and I'll see 333 somewhere. But uh, anyway, I guess I did this video because I had 333 subscribers and I just thought it was a perfect time to do it after seeing 333 for days. And then waking up this morning and seeing it had 999, 999 views and I was just like, okay, it's on. There's got to be something to it. So tell me your stories about triple numbers, quadruple numbers, double digits, whatever it may be. And um, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the whole thing. Peace.